The SolidSet Institute is an interdisciplinary institute in the Technion, which hosts faculty members from four different faculties, namely chemistry, physics, material science, and electrical engineering. The Russell Berry Institute at Technion is the largest research entity on campus. It covers all aspects of nanoscience that enables faculty, mainly young faculty, who are establishing their career, and of course uh, graduate students and postdocs, to really choose an area which uh, already in this day and age looks like the science of the future, where the walls between different disciplines are basically disappearing and physicists are doing biology and biologists are doing computer science, etc. The whole idea of the Solid State Institute and the research here that is supported by RBNI is to foster collaborations between basic scientific ideas with industrial application. Here in this lab we look at semiconductor quantum dots. Semiconductors are really interesting because all modern technology is based on semiconductors, from the processor in your computer to the camera chip in your cell phone. One of the big discoveries that we made in this lab is that we were the first lab to show that a quantum dot is a single photon source. And working on this, we also were able to show that this quantum dot can also be a source of entangled photon pairs. The polarization of the photon that comes out of the quantum dot first is entangled with the polarization of the photon that comes out of the quantum dot second. We use these semiconductor quantum dots to try to push the boundaries of our understanding of semiconductors. The main major goal of doing quantum optics with quantum dots is to do what's called quantum information processing. In a regular computer, the information is stored as a sequence of ones or zeros. Uh, but in a quantum computer, you can store information in the phase between this zero and this one. And so it would expand our abilities to do computation, and it also would allow for secure communication. This specific laboratory is specializing on what we call magneto-optical properties. These are learning optical properties in the presence of external magnetic field or combining what we call a magnetic resonance methodologies together with optics. The students that uh, work in this institute really are exposed to people that are coming from different departments and they are always receiving nourishing uh, ideas. So this is the, I would say, the optimal way, place to carry this type of research. APS has given me this Schwalow Prize for discoveries that started with solitons. Solitons are wave packets that behave like particles. And so that was one third of the award. The other uh, third was on the first observation of uh, Anderson localization of light in, periodic, in any periodic system in nature. And more recently, for, uh, and for major contributions on nonlinear waves in photonic lattices. The students in my group, all of them, I, doing both theory and experiments, we nurture a young generation of researchers for Israel and for the world. This is an, ex an experiment we've been working on uh, to make uh, photonic floquet topological insulators. Inside this sample there are helical waveguides uh, that go in a circular trajectory. Light that is traveling inside this sample goes in a specific direction and not in the other direction and it cannot backscatter. We explore several phenomena in uh, extreme nonlinear optics. Uh, we convert light, visible light, into extreme UV and soft X-rays using a process called high harmonic generation. Uh, for example, in, in the past year, we developed a method to control the polarization of these harmonics from linear through elliptic to circular polarization without comprising the efficiency of the process. And we now use this unique for, uh, source of light uh, to explore ultra-fast magnetism, uh, rotating current in molecules and other phenomena. One of the achievements of my lab is the recent uh, de demonstration of an LED light emitting diode that is emitting a stream of two photons, not like the regular laser that is emitting one photon. And this is uh, very important for uh, applications in quantum information. 
and the devices are really appropriate for application because they are doing all the activity at room temperature. In the lab, uh, we have uh, about 10 uh, graduate students that are working in this research and uh, each uh, graduate student is really mentoring few undergraduate students that are making projects in the lab. In this way, we are really uh, taking advantage both of their skills but also educating them towards going to the industry and later on from some of them to the academia. The idea of having the solid set instrument, the idea of RBNI, because the Russell Berry Nano Technology Institute, is we encourage basic research, but we leave our head open towards ideas which eventually benefit the society, the industry, and civilization. Okay.